This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2002 Dodge Ram 2500. It's a three-quarter ton four-door extra cab. That's also when they started calling it a quad cab. Um, and it's a long bed. It's a 5.9 liter uh, gas V8. That's a great motor, by the way. Two-wheel drive. Um, has a really low miles. 106,956 for the miles. Uh, it was a Jim Click Jeep trade here in Tucson. This is a new car dealer trade. Um, just a plain Jane truck. Um, it has been repainted. The repaint was pretty good. They didn't tape it off quite as great as they should have, but for a, uh, looks to me like a very high level Mako paint job or, or better, um, but not perfect. But you would never know it unless you, you know, were expecting a $2,000, $3,000 paint job, then you would, then you would notice. But if you were expecting this, you were probably pretty happy. Um, Let's see, uh, the only thing wrong with this truck is the headliner. God, Chevys and Dodges from this era had peeling paint, which I'm sure is why this is painted, and headliners that fell. Um, I will show you that in a second, but very extremely common. Um, it's about $200 to fix it. Some people won't care. Um, the tires on this thing, probably the fronts are probably 70 or 80% tread. Um, but uh, if you do care, um, it probably costs you about $200. You take it over, if you're in Tucson, take it to Poncho's Upholstery and they'll do it. Um, the reason we're not doing it is we need vehicles online now. Um, and uh, I don't picture the person buying this caring. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, but uh, if he does care, then he can, uh, or she, can uh, get it fixed. But really the quality of the paintwork is excellent. Um, Except for they didn't tape off very well. And I'll show you really like like this. See right on the door handle, on the handle of the gate. Bed looks great. Get your plugs here. Bumper looks great. This is where it's the most noticeable. See that? around the edge there. This tint, we were, I was gonna have detail take it off, but it's summertime in Tucson. Somebody may actually like it. You know what, I better demo this. So we've got two remotes, locked, unlocked, okay. Man, it's hot. It's like a freaking sauna out here today. It's gonna rain. Let me get it started so I get some air conditioning going here. It just came back from detail about five minutes ago and we try to get these videos done before the clouds move in and they move in fast even though it's really sunny out it could happen in 20 minutes here so no dawdling here's the auto check you'll have a link for it in the in the uh, in our ad you can look at it slowly on your time but i like to explain it five nine gas they call it an extra cab uh, there's the vin they give it a 73 with the uh High end be, usually being 72 is their score, so it does well there. Um, no major title problems, which obviously matters. No accidents, no damage has been reported. No odometer rollbacks or brands or anything like that. Give you the Odo going the right way. Looks like whoever bought it originally bought it in uh, Parump, Nevada, and then sold it at auction and it came to Tucson at 13,000 miles and I lived in Tucson which obviously means you don't have to worry about rust it only rains in July and August and after that it's bone dry so that's not an issue which is probably one of the reasons why these things last so long here um, all right let me open the hood here make sure the doors are unlocked because I like to lock myself out there we go So I didn't even know this was a repaint until I opened the hood, and then you can obviously tell it's a repaint. See? The paint was just coming right off it. So, probably had the peeling paint everywhere on it. You have all your stickers where they belong, so the core support's original. Obviously, this is the first thing to hit something, and that wouldn't be there if it wasn't original, right? With the stickers and the whole bit. really straight all right 
somebody put these aftermarket mirrors in so they might have been towing something but i don't see any holes no actually well maybe i see a hole over there so maybe they had a bracket in here a fifth wheel bracket but maybe they were just towing from the rear hitch all right there's your window oh look at this god damn that's old school got it old school stuff in here plugs and stuff typical glove box it's all cranky on these things everything having to do with the dashes like this is a cap they put a cap on there because the dashes crack on these things so easily glove box doors get jacked up not really sure why they couldn't pay more attention see the headliner why they couldn't pay more attention to things like the headliner and you know heavier duty plastic on the dash and the glove box and stuff but they didn't that's why there's so many you can buy so many after park market parts for the dash caps and stuff like that if you go on uh, amazon you'll see all kinds of stuff for these old trucks for this particular type of truck for the dash and stuff and you google the headliner too same thing but what you can't recreate is how well these things run there's your vin sticker and everything and this thing runs great Seats are like brand new. Get my seatbelt on here. Man, it's a swamp out today. And the air conditioning is a beautiful thing right here. Oh boy. Oh. All right. Let's see. So turn it down. I'm gonna keep it. I'm keeping it up because it's freaking hot. I don't know if the you can start your week. Yeah, the radio does work. Radio works fine. There's overdrive off and on, right? We have a tilt wheel right here. There's your tilt wheel, right? Let's see, we have cruise control right there, on and off. Turn signal, turn signal, windshield wipers, Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me open the gate here. I actually bought this truck because I really, uh, I grew up in the car business and back in the day in the early 2000s, late 1990s, I, we used to buy these trucks all the time and they're just, mechanically, they're just awesome. <laughs> all the dash stuff, <laughs> like this caps on and stuff, suck. <laughs> and the headliner sucks. But you usually have to deal with those, you know, eventually. But uh, from the mechanical standpoint, the transmission, the motor, the pulling, fantastic. All right. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Okay? If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Okay? Nothing else. Um, once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you. We will scan it into your online file and we will mail it to you. We will scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, you'll have the truck shipped to you and the title will already be in your mailbox. By the time the shipper shows up, you'll just take the truck and the title you get in the mail to your, uh, to your local motor vehicle and get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know the time of purchase. I can uh, roll the price of the shipping into the uh, into the uh, price of the car, so you can just make one payment for shipping and the truck. Uh, you're welcome also to do it yourself. We have Kyle, who's our number one buyer. He's on vehicle number 13 or something in San Diego. He's so good at this now, he can buy, put his deposit down, pay it off, and have it have shippers show up before we really know what's happened. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, if you're one of those guys, you're welcome to it. But if you need help, let me know, all right? Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, it stays for sale, okay? So please make sure you get your deposit in. Um, last part of every video, I say this every single time for every single video, for every single vehicle we've ever sold. 15 years of this, thousands of videos. We don't have sales, we don't have bottled water, we don't have, uh, so we don't have commissions to pay, we don't have bottled water to pay for, we don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes. A mile 
not even that, three quarters of a mile east of us on this road is the auto mall. At that auto mall, in fact, we're gonna go that way because I have to stop and pick something up. And I thought I'd just drive this truck since the air conditioning is nice. Um, at the auto mall, when they sell you a vehicle, they make so much money and they charge you so much money for it. If something breaks, you'll come in and scream at them and they have to fix it because you indeed did pay a lot of money for the truck or the car, whatever you bought. Um, they also include five to $700 on every deal uh, on the side just for those future repairs. So they've already paid for the repairs with your money, okay? Um, and if they can't fix it for the five to $700, they buy it back and to sell it to somebody else. That's how it works. What we do is the opposite. We give you the money that you save up front. We save you the money up front so you can fix your truck with the money that you're saving. You'll know that by doing your research on what vehicles cost. How did I end up behind a semi? Uh, <laughs> I mean, this guy is like crawling. I don't know what's going on here, but this kind of sucks. Um, bottom line is, you're saving a ton of money with us. If something breaks in this truck, fix it with the money you save. Don't call us and ask us for a check because it's not coming, okay? Now, mechanically, it's fantastic, but we're not Nostradamus. We don't know when, you know, I, I know my brother pulled away when we bought it, went down I-10 doing 85 and I couldn't catch him. So, <laughs> I, I know it runs pretty good. Uh, I know I'm running and driving in this thing right now and it's got cold air and a nice ride and everything, but I'm not Nostradamus. I don't know when a window motor is going to decide to take a, take a, you know, crap or, you know, freaking injector is gonna decide to take a crap or the windshield wiper bottle is gonna break or yeah, who knows a door locks not gonna work we don't know if I told you I knew then I'd be I'd be unable to buy bad cars and I bought plenty of bad cars in my life I would love to know when I'm about to do that okay now that's why we do these 15 minute videos that's why we give you the car facts or the auto check in this case um, Carfax, by the way, is $1,300 a month, and AutoCheck charges us $500 a month, and it's the same stuff. Uh, it's, that's what uh, Mannheim Auction uses to run all their cars through, and that's why we went with AutoCheck, because, you know, obviously we have to pass that price on to you guys, and, you know, that's just another, you know, $800 a month spread amongst, you know, 30 or 40 cars. I mean, it's not much, but it kind of counts, you know, and it's the same information. So, anyway, that's why we give you the AutoCheck. Um, that's why we give you everything. If we were to fix this, if this needed any any mechanical work, you'd know about it. Um, you know, that's how we roll, so we don't have drama. Let's see, where am I going? I'm going, I'm taking a right on Fairway. By the way, this is where the Auto Mall begins. The Toyota's there. If you take a left at this light, you'll be going down Auto Mall Drive, and all the, all the dealerships are there. We got BMW and Kia right there. A little tour of Tucson. Mexico is exactly 60 miles that direction and even though it's clear right now when it's clear and it's hot and humid like it is right now that's trouble <laughs> that is trouble if there was clouds like way up here this early in the morning at 10 in the morning um, it's not such a big concern but uh, that's not the case right now um, I'm having a feeling that we are going to get poured on tonight based on my uncomfortable uh, index right now nice and sweaty and gross outside uh anyway back to the car, to the truck uh, a really nice truck runs and drives great obviously well maintained especially mechanically um yeah i would love to have a truck like this and i would probably put a fifth wheel the bracket in it put a fifth wheel hitch in it and uh pull it you know decent size 23 25 27 foot boat with it um I don't think you need diesel for that. Anyway, I think that's about it. About out of time in this video. I'm almost where I need to be. I have to go buy a clamp for a air box on a uh, truck we just bought. It was a theft recovery and uh, someone stole the, the clamp that holds the can and air filter in. And uh, can't go to detail until it has that or we're gonna end up with water in the motor. So, while I'm driving this around, you guys get to go with me on a trip to Merle's Auto Parts. Right there, so I can go buy a $3 clamp that I need. Right there. <coughs> anyway, really nice truck. It's nice driving something with uh, good air conditioning and, uh, and 
and uh, no vibrations or anything like that. This is a nice, really nice truck. Alrighty then. I think I'm going to sit here for just a second here and enjoy some more AC. So now it has 106,975 is the mileage. Here's your cluster. I'm going to go inside now. Thanks for your time.